so in this lecture we plan to cover these switches different switches available below here then we will see the selection methods and what are the tools for selection then we will be covering the concept of units also and we will be seeing how to do work in multiple documents so these are the topics that we are going to cover today so in these switches we have already seen the ortho mode using f8 you can make it on and off so ortho mode creates a straight line that we have already seen in our first tutorial so next is polar tracking next is polar tracking so using this polar tracking you can track the angles so normally when we work with line command it shows the angle there but we don't uh, recognize which angle is coming right now there suppose I will make this polar tracking on by clicking on it so here you can see that polar on then I will right click on the polar tracking and I will take a setting option there right click setting then this dialog box will come so in this dialog box increment angle has been set as 30 degree okay I will keep that as it is so what will happen now now polar tracking is on increment angle is 30 so when I create line by clicking on first point when I move to 30 angle it shows that tracking tracking it shows so if I goes to 60 so any uh, every angle uh, incrementing in the in 30 d uh, 30 incrementing by 30 is shown uh, tracked by that polar tracking so in this way you can know when that particular angle has been reached so 30 60 90 for uh, every th uh, th uh, 30 increment angle it is showing that tracking so using this you can easily create the object suppose I want to create a line in 30 degree so 30 degree is already there so you don't have to put that angle you can directly give the length suppose I want the 5 length enter then I want to create some line in suppose 120 degrees so I will just uh, show 120 is there so I will just put the length 3 then I want to create a line in 150 degree so 150 degree is cor uh, coming correctly so I will just put the length so in this way you can use the polar tracking so it will track the angles so whatever angle you can put there whatever required angle you can put there the next funda is object snap so we have seen that already the end point midpoint perpendicular and all those things are called as object snaps so if this object snap uh, normally what happens when we create want to create some object suppose I want to create a line uh, circle circle on the midpoint if I'm, I take the cursor and the midpoint of the line it directly shows the midpoint so this is possible because this obje object snap is on so if I click on this and make it off and if I try to take my cursor near the line it will not show the object snap so nor in normal working this object snap should be on then only it will show the object snaps again if you right uh, object snaps also have the setting you just have to right click on the object snap and click on settings so here you will see that some object snaps has been uh, selected by green ticks so th the object snap which are selected by green ticks will be showing automatically and the object snap which are not ticked will you have to pick it manually by shift right clicking so whatever object snap you need that you can make it on by clicking on it so in this way you can use the object snap concept then next is object snap tracking so this object snap tracking is basically useful to locate a point with respect to other points suppose for example suppose I have this rectangle and at the center of this rectangle I want to create a circle so normally I draw the one horizontal line from mid to mid and then I, at that midpoint I create the circle but using this object snap tracking as the object snap tracking is on so I will just say circle then I will uh, I know that this center point will come at the midpoint of this line and midpoint of this line so I will just take my cursor over th the above line so it is marking there it is marking with yellow there so I will take on this line also mid of this line 
and when I come back to uh, mid uh, center point it automatically tracks that point with respect to those two points so I can click and I can locate object so in this way you can use a uh, object snap tracking to locate some object with respect to other objects or object snap tracking can also be used suppose I have one drawing here so object snap tracking can also be used to track the views suppose I have created this view already and I have from that I want to create this view so I will just erase it and we will create it using object snap tracking so now this front view I will need in line uh, in this line so I will just say line I will just take my cursor on the corner and I will come down I will not click there and I will click here so that point will exactly start in that line again the length of this line will be I will be tracking from the above line so in this way I can create or I can I will make the orthon so that lines will come straight so here I will put the height is 30 suppose then length again I will track this point then height is 20 then again this length I will tracking from this point then I will uh, track this height from this point I will track this length from this point and in this way I have create completed this object so uh, in the center object we can track from circle so I will take my cursor on the quadrant I will come down if it is showing intersection there I will click so I want to come down by 10 distance again I want to track this circle then again I will track this end point so this portion is completed again line internal circle I will track I will track this midpoint so this line is completed then again I will track this side uh, internal circle point quadrant point then I will track this midpoint so in this way you can use object snap tracking to take the projections so that is the fund of object snap tracking then next is dynamic input so because of the dy dynamic input you can see the message at the cursor this plus cursor you are seeing a message specify first point so that is possible because dynamic input is on suppose if this dynamic input is off and if I give the line then that message is not coming there then that message is coming down here and if I click the first point I cannot give the length and angle also so in this way you can make the dynamic input on so that will make your drafting simpler or in uh, our layer tutorials it is very important that you keep this dynamic input on then only you will be able to create the object if now I take the line first point so you can see that because as dynamic input is on it is showing the length and angle there so in this way you can use dynamic input then next is uh, we seen in previous uh, tutorial hide show line weight the layer concept then next is quick properties if this quick properties is on now normally what happens now quick properties is, is off suppose if I select the line then nothing will happen but suppose if this quick properties is on and if I select the line it will show this dialog box here so if from this dialog box you can very quickly change the layer color and line type you can see the length of the line also same way suppose if I select the circle it will show the circle properties complete radius diameter circumference and all those things and one more thing is there if you want a circle of some particular area it will automatically adjust suppose I want 3000 area circle so it will automatically adjust the radius and all those things so in this way you can use this quick properties dialog box if you don't want this you just click on this quick properties and it will get off so it will be a normal behavior so in this way you can use these different switches now next topic we will see the selection methods what are the different selection methods how to use it so number of times when we use uh, button uh, command from this toolbar it shows select object prompt to you so using this select object when you uh, click this select object on the right side and comes to left side a green dotted line is shown so this green dotted line is called as crossing window so the property of crossing window is it will select all the object those are complete inside this window and the object crossed by this window so here uh, if we click here you will see that all these line all these object has been selected 
and the other option is if I click on the left side and comes on the right side then it will select only object those are complete inside the window so it will uh, select only this circle and line if I click here it will select only circle and line so in this way you can use window and crossing window so uh, you can see that when I go on right side it creates a blue window if I goes on right left side it creates a green window and we have seen the properties then if by mistake if I get uh, select something suppose I by mistake I select these two circles then I can cancel selection of those two circles by pressing the shift and clicking on that circle so in this way you can cancel your selection by pressing shift and clicking on the unrequired object so in this way you can use different selection methods then next concept is that of units so I will delete this object from format units you can change the unit so there are different uh, by default normally for mechanical drawing decimal unit is sufficient if you want inches then you have to either select architecture or engineering then it will take at a unit as inches you can also control uh, inches if you want to create something in inches then just say ok and if I now take the line option so it will show me the length in feet inches automatically so if I want to suppose I will say F8 to draw a straight line suppose I want to create a line of 10 feet then I have to say 10 feet single quote you have to give then it will create a line of 10 feet if I give only 10 then it will create a line of 10 inches so that you have to take care of line if suppose I want to create a line of 50 inches then I can directly say here 50 so it will create that line of 50 inches but if I want to create a line of suppose for you feet 10 inches then you have to whenever you want to create a line in a feet you always have to remember that you have to give feet a single quote uh, 5 feet 10 inches so it will create a line of 5 feet 10 inches so in this way you can create the object in inches also so, so by going back to format units you can come back to normal units by pressing on decimal from here you can control the precision how accurately or uh, up to uh, how many digits it should show the values same way you can change the unit for angle also and you can control the precision also from here so in this way you can change the unit or control the precision then next funda is suppose uh, I have multiple drawing open suppose I will close this drawing and I will open two three drawings suppose I, the, uh, I have this one drawing I will open this is the one, one more drawing and this is the one more drawing so suppose at a time you can see from window here three drawings are open so you can click on any drawing and you can go to that drawing or you can use the control tab as a shortcut to traverse through the drawing from one drawing you can go to other drawing using control tab also suppose if you want to see all the drawing at a time then you can use either tile horizontally or tile vertically if suppose I use tile vertically so it is showing me all the drawings at a time so in this way you can use the tile vertically and suppose I want to transfer some object from one drawing to other drawing suppose I want to transfer then just select that object and click on this copy here control C then go inside other drawing and just say paste so you in this way copy and pasting you can transfer drawing from one drawing to other drawing so if you want to come back to single format just maximize any drawing that is required and you will be back into a single format so in this way we have completed this tutorial thanks for joining